former running back for the Minnesota Vikings, New York Jets, and Seattle Seahawks. Uh, you could say our next guest traded in his cleats for a police badge. Officer Ed Coffey from Hill Street Blues. Ed Marinero. Uh, let's hear it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Is anyone broke? Officer Joe Is Coffey. Joe Coffey. Well, what do we know here, <laughs> you know? Has anyone ever broken your, your college uh, record for ground well, gained at, at Cornell? Most of them have been broken because when I played, you could only play three seasons. And uh, uh, we now played guys playing four, four yeah. and they're playing 11 game schedules where I played a nine game schedule. So I should be like Roger Maris, a little <laughs> asterisk next to my name. Do you like what you're doing? I love it. Because we were just talking about something you had to do today that sounded like it might have been unpleasant. Well, when you work on television, uh, particularly in a show like Hill Street with a large cast and uh, you know, you're not highlighted in every script, so there's going to be days when you go in and play and you're background, you're doing background work most of the day yeah. and you have to put in those long hours. That's not real exciting. But when we do get stuff to do, it's just so wonderful that uh, it makes up for those times. You know, I met you, I of course knew about you from because I'm such a sports nut, but I first met you uh, with uh, Joe Namath. Joe Namath, me too. Yeah. Well, he was responsible in some way or possibly totally responsible for getting you into the acting end of this business. Well, right or wrong? Well, Joe, uh, I met Joe when I was a senior in college. And, uh, you know, being a football player, he was every football player's idol. Oh, yeah. So, and a great um, guy. No, oh, wonderful oh, guy. We're still, guy. We're still very good friends. And um, he brought me out here. We were playing in a golf tournament in Palm Springs. And uh, we came up to Los Angeles to uh, just spend a couple of days because he had to do business. And I just... Uh, spent some time at the Beverly Hills Hotel and uh, oh, the you? Polo Lounge, and I said, "Oh, this is for me. This is it." <laughs> I saw, I saw all the stars walking around. I, said, oh. I gotta ask you, since you're a football player, uh, how you feel? I know it's driving me bananas. The, oh. This football strike, just driving me crazy. And I think the players would like to be back out there playing. How do you feel about the football strike? Well, I'm sure the players would like to be back no. playing because I was involved in a strike in 1974 when I was playing, and it was. Uh, uh, you know, you prepare for the season and you work, do all that hard work, and then you, it, it's, it stops. Personally, um, I have a, a movie of the week coming on this Monday night, and I knew about this a couple months ago, and I said, oh boy, I'm going to be competing with Monday Night Football. No, I'm not, so uh, I hope the strike ends next week. So. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I played golf with Joe today, Joe Namath, and he said, I said, uh, I, I had talked to Dr. Kerlin from the Rams, and he thought that maybe by the 6th, he wasn't sure that they'd be back out there playing. He said, but they can't, they can't possibly be out there any sooner because they're all over the place, the guys. But Joe said the big factor is putting the guys out there when they're not in shape, mm -hmm. you have all kinds of injuries. Well, um, I don't think it'll take that long to get them back into shape because they're in pretty good shape anyway. Yeah. And, and a, a, a trained athlete, a well-tuned athlete, like most of the guys are in the NFL, don't get out of shape in a matter of a month. They really don't. And they have been doing something, so I don't think it's going to be a, a major problem. What but have they been doing <laughs> <laughs> to stay in shape? Oh, they've all working out. <laughs> sorry, oh, Ed. Sorry. Oh, Priscilla, sorry, yes. my mind is... Isn't I don't know. I don't play anymore. Monday don't night football is tough for us girls. I don't mean to interrupt, but it is. It sure is. I no, mean, I could prance in front of the TV not, with my not. most sexy lingerie, and Joel would say, can you move a little bit to the right? So since the strike, I'd have I don't a good ball that. on Monday night. <laughs> 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 I mean, not a ball. I mean, uh, fun. <laughs> What's your TV movie about? <laughs> Quickly, Ed. It's getting out of hand here. I was about I to say. No, no. I was about to say. Uh, uh, my wife Ruth, I love her. She's uh, watching now. Uh, she is absolutely gone bananas. That it is that over football. Oh, well, she's a football nut. She might have four sets on at the same time, and not wagering, but rooting. And I never heard her screaming in my life. And she, she loves the sport of football, and she's she's gone bananas. She's gone crazy every month. Without night. yeah, with a strike. And I'm not uh, too sane myself because I just I just can't understand it. But from what I hear, I want to be a little provocative now. I'm uh, <laughs> talking about what Ed said about November sixth. I, I I don't think, unfortunately, that they're going to get together. 
Really? You think they're going to scrape, scratch the season? Yeah, I think so. Oh, How do you my. know that, Milton? Do you have probably knows info? a lot of the owners? I, uh, I know you I, know I, the I, owners. I, I, I know, you know must a know. few things, but uh, I, I, I don't think they're going to get together. And when it comes to the Super Bowl, what's going to happen, huh? Well, you know, I have some old films that maybe you can come over and watch with me. I mean, if you really need to watch football, if bring you, your wife because I mean, well, I, I can't was find really the ball. Good when I, was I really can't. Well, I, I was mean, really I'm good when I was younger. I can't find the ball. Well, well just one minute, uh, no. Joanna. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Priscilla. <laughs> Priscilla. Joanne. No, but is that? We've I know got to find joke, out about this man's Joanne. movie. Okay, I want to hear about it. Yes, I want to hear about it. That's it. For some reason, that lacks sincerity. No, we do. I want to hear. I did. I did a movie for TV that'll air this Monday, November 1st. Is that right? Can I say Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. And uh, it's about the modeling business. I play a photographer uh, who has a love interest in this model who is sort of uh, getting old. And uh, it was kind of fun to do. It was uh, uh, a different role for me uh, as opposed to role, uh, Joe Coffey because mm -hmm. I have an education in this one. So. That's great. What's yeah. the name of the picture? It's called Born Beautiful. It's not about me. <laughs> story of Ed's life. <laughs> oh, story of Priscilla's true. life. No, oh. it's story of Ed's <laughs> life. And who, and who plays the person? Who, who plays the female role? The model? Erin Gray and Laurie Singer. They're two models. A, a younger model and an older model. Yeah, and it airs what time? Aren't you nice? Isn't she wonderful? See, she's no, making up for the... No, I'm, I'm I need to interrupt. I want to talk to I see people interrupt. Nine o'clock on NBC. Nine o'clock NBC. Monday, November Monday 1. night. Okay. Born Beautiful. Let's show a clip from Born Beautiful starring Ed Marinaro. The wrong time. Just a moment, yes, in just a moment. Right after this. Isn't that wonderful?